Hey, welcome to part three. I actually did not go live yesterday, so this is part three and then tomorrow is part four. Today we are going to work on helping you expand your financial consciousness. Specifically, I'm going to outline how you can create your own financial healing plan. So this is the process that we go through in Flip the Switch to 10K Weeks in terms of creating a plan for you to start your financial healing process. So the two day weekend or group hypnosis experience is not just hypnotherapy, but it, set, it sets you up for the rest of the year. So it's really a 12 month healing plan. So I'm gonna go through the process so you can join us and do it with us or you can start the process yourself. Let's get into the first slide. So let's just do a quick recap of what the financial consciousness framework is. So we first work on your beliefs because your beliefs oftentimes, that creates like your energetic alignment to the things that you want. Because a lot of people, especially my clients who are entrepreneurs, they set up their funnels, they run ads, they do all the things that they can to hit 10K months, 20K months, 50K months. But because of their beliefs, they still feel broke because of their beliefs they take make actions and decisions that lead them back to brokenness so your beliefs are one of the key factors in shifting expanding your financial consciousness then we go into working on your attitude your emotions and then your behavior that's where a lot of personal finance people come in at the very last part they tell you how to manage your money they tell you about budgeting they do all these things but they never get to the root cause of the problem as to why it's difficult for you to manage your money that's why financial consciousness is the key to financial freedom and empowerment Okay, so first step in expanding your financial consciousness is releasing any negativity or shame or anxiety around money so you can make more of it without an ounce of guilt. So think about your pa low battery, um, but so a lot of people oftentimes even as they're starting to make more money, they still have shame or guilt about their past negative money decisions. And that impacts you in the present and also impacts your future decisions. So you have to start by releasing any of that shame or anxiety around money and feeling guilty about making more money. Then you have to discover your money values. So what is important to you about making money? Do you feel like you making more money makes you less likable? Um, how do you want your money to come to you? Do you wanna work hard for money or do you rather sit back and allow it to come to you? There's no right way. It's really important for you to understand what your money values are so that you could then work on raising your mental money minimum. Then once you do that, once you decide and you figure out what's important to you, you activate your reticular activated system for abundance. So this way you can create multiple financial flows. Then you reprogram your what is going on today. All right. So then you reprogram your financial trauma responses so that you can easily attract, receive, and keep your money. So then you'll start to feel more confident asking for what you want and going after what you truly desire in business and everywhere else in life. What I notice is that when we work with money and money blocks, and worthiness and all these things, it really helps my clients in all areas of their life, their relationships, personal and their personal uh, relationships with family and with their romantic partners. Mm. You'll start to love yourself deeply and watch that love 
overflows into your relationships with everyone from clients to colleagues to your family. It's all connected. You'll feel safe and excited about showing up and being seen, becoming an expert in your field and doing the work that you truly want to do and were meant to do. You'll gain razor sharp clarity on the vision for your business and life so you always know what you're working towards. You'll have this deep belief that you're worthy of success and embody that so you track the right clients and opportunities effortlessly. So healing your financial past is all about trauma processes, releasing the limiting beliefs, doubts, and fears and holding you back. Tomorrow I'm going to actually dive into an exercise that we'll, we'll, we oftentimes do in the group hypnosis sessions about releasing your financial anxiety and fears. But I want you to review the slides so that if you want to get started on creating your own financial healing plan, you can. So just hitting all these points, let me just bring up the financial consciousness framework again for you. So hitting all these points, what do you need to do specifically to align your beliefs? What do you need to do specifically to shift your attitude? What do you need to do specifically to regulate your emotions? What do you need to do specifically or what behaviors do you need to incorporate in your life now to create a financially free and empowered future? So hopefully this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. If you want to take this to the next level, if you need support, you can join us in Flip the Switch to 10K Weeks, the group hypnosis um, weekend, or you can even tap into my Pride and Plentitude subliminal bundle. The link is in my bio. It's on promo now for Pride weekend. So um, you can tap in through the link in my bio or clicking below. All right, bye.